Happy Tuesday, teacher outfit of the day. This is my um, son's I teacher. I love my outfit today. I'm obsessed with these pants. They're Abercrombie. They're the other pants. They just have the best fit. I've had them for three years, and I Isn't just that little great. myself reaching for them. This is a cashmere sweater from Off Socks. I'm not sure if I should tuck it in. Maybe I'll tuck in the front and my Zay Jig and gold hair sneakers. That's it. Have a good day. First off, whoever the parent was that reposted this woman's video is hating. Stop hating, okay? That's one. Secondly, where was these type of teachers when I was in school? Where was the teachers that looked like, well, we had, mm, we had one. We had Miss August when I was in junior high school. Miss, Miss August had the wagon. Miss August definitely had the wagon. But I'm going to get ignorant. I'm going to say something ignorant. Because I'll be watching the news and the teachers that I'll be seeing giving it. I probably shouldn't say that. I probably shouldn't say that. I, I just don't be understanding all these young people be out here snitching on your teeth. Probably can't say that neither. If you understand, you, you just fill out what I'm trying to say, okay? Just fill out what I'm trying to say. Because some of the teachers that be out here on their on they R. Kelly. They, they, you know, I don't think I'll be dropping dimes on them. I'll, I'll take it to the grave. You could be having the worst day ever, and then here come an ugly ass. I'm talking about, damn, ma, too pretty to not be smiling. <laughs> smile, smile, bro, watch out. Move around. Like, why do y'all do that? Why do y'all act like that? Like, what is that supposed to accomplish? I just, I don't understand it. Bro. I ain't the cutest mom on the block, but I've been out with friends who are Super confident. I'm talking about folks got titties, stomach, but confidence is to the roof. And we'll go up to the baddest in the club or the baddest wherever we at. Be like, hey, beautiful. Let me see that pretty smile. Be like, damn, bro. I wish my confidence was like you. I ain't gonna hold you though. I went through my, my Facebook the other day. Like, I went all the way back to like 2008, 2009. I was a, a DMing ass. I didn't realize I used to be in so many people's inbox. I was reading some of the messages. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed at my pickup lines. Yo, these type of pranks ain't funny. Yo, wake up, bro. You got a snake on you. That's, that's not funny. Them type of pranks ain't funny, bro. Especially for somebody like me who who scared of snake. Hi, in the video comments, Daddy have a video to work on. Hi, we want to thank you. And tweet and thank you. You want to be on camera so bad, though. <laughs> me too. We are on the super family. And we are family time in the video. Send us pictures. Send a video to you, to you, and do it. If you want it, you can do it. Do it, do it, Go with your mother. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. okay. Go with your mother. Th thank you for bringing my stuff down. Damn, babe, can I get a can I get a kiss on camera? Cause you, you are so cool. Keep that same energy when the camera's off. Shake him. Go upstairs. Babe, babe, come on. Like I was saying, them pranks ain't funny. You know, I'm scared of snakes. So if you do something like that to me, we no longer friends. I'm liable to hook off on you. I am liable to hook off on you. You drop a snake on me while I'm sleeping. It's going to be consequences and repercussions. So I get a salad from Whole Foods Salad Bar. And as I'm eating my salad, I have this funny, like, taste in my mouth. Like, Whole Foods is a spot. Not, like, texture or anything. It tasted almost like chemicals. And I'm just eating my salad, and I just am staring in my salad bowl. And oh. I see legs just moving. And moving quickly. Oh. And I had to rub my eyes because I'm... 
I just knew there was no way that there was actually something in my salad. Bro, that's them stink bugs. And lo and behold, it was a stink bug in my salad releasing its toxins. And that's what the flavor was. Like, I was eating stink bug farts. <laughs> Or whatever it is that they were like, I'm so traumatized. I just don't know what to do with my life. What? Yo, first off, you ain't get that from Whole Foods, dog. I refuse to believe that Whole Foods is out here putting bugs as a special ingredient in a salad. I refuse. Because Whole Foods is the spot. Whole Foods is where you go to find wifey. Let me tell y'all something. This is a secret. This is a trade secret. Because I know it's a lot of dudes subscribed to my channel. If you're trying to find a, a down-to-earth woman, you either go to Target or you go to Whole Foods. If you're trying to find your ratchet bitch, you go to Walmart or the beauty supply store. You want to find you a good girl, go to Whole Foods and Target. Oh. You got Trader Joe's also. Trader Joe's and Aldi's. Those four stores right there. You liable to find wifey material. Why you say you can't, you can't deal with a guy that got a job? Do you have a job, Jay? Yes. Okay, why well, can't I deal with you? The reason why I can't deal with you... <laughs> <laughs> no, she no, said it as a, like... It was like an option. Like, no, it's not an option. And that's what I was going to say. Rule respect to your girlfriend. That's not, that's not what I'm She's I not going to take it personally. Yeah, she no, I can't working. take anybody that got a job either. That's why I said I, was, I don't want nobody with a job. Because if, if we want to go to Jamaica yeah. to see your girl's family, and you can't because you got to go to Jamaica. But you can't tell them, like, oh, I got to go to Jamaica tomorrow. True. Like, you I don't gotta, have to. No, but when they so come So you can just leave your job. I mean, that means he time, worked from like, home. Right? Like you told that means he works from home because you didn't get off work till a certain time. Like that yeah. already is like a hassle. Okay. No, but it's a red flag. for me, no, it's, flag. it's not a red flag. But for me personally, because I know when a lot of people say, "Oh, I can't date a man with a job," a lot of people on the internet take it to offense. But me, mm -hmm. Destiny, mm -hmm. cannot date a man with a job. One because I'm very spontaneous, and I need wait, 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 Jay, before you get to leaning back and breaking the chair. What I'm saying is, and I also need a man to understand where I'm at in the moment that I'm at. Like, I probably will have a week where I work so much, and then I have a week where I don't work at all. You get what I'm saying? So as an entrepreneur, it's like it's very up and down, and mm -hmm. I just want somebody to understand the mental state that I'm in. Sometimes I get really, really depressed because I always have to show up for people. Mm -hmm. So then I'd be like, I, I want a man to be there to comfort me during that moment. I just feel like a so man. So you want a man too? I don't want a maid. I want a man. I'm saying you got, you got Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't date a man with a nine to five. I can't date a man with a job. I can't date a broke. Which one is it, sis? Bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I didn't. I just came from work. I wasn't expecting to hit the bag today. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Oh, I wasn't expecting to hit the bag today. So basically, these bitches want scammers. I don't want to date a man with a nine to five, but I still want a man that could afford to go on a trip with me to Jamaica spontaneously. So you want a scammer. That's pretty much what you're saying. You want a scammer. 
because all entrepreneurs don't have it like that. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, eventually, your business may gain some success, and then you're going to have it like that. But if you want a nigga that has all the time in the world, you either want a drug dealer or you want a scammer. So I'm in the driverless Uber, and, you know, they have the little sensors for your seatbelt and everything like that. Well, I have my, my luggage in the back, and I guess that set off the sensor. So all of a sudden, a phone call connects in the car is my I just want to remind you to make sure you have your seatbelt on. I said, sir, no one's driving this car. If there were more seatbelts than this, I would have them on. Of course, I have I have it on. Don't worry, I have it on. I have it on. It is very safe, though. I will say that. Because honestly, when I'm driving the car, you know, I'm on the phone anyway. So this is probably, this is probably safer. This is probably better. Because at least over here in the passenger seat, you know, I don't got to watch the road. So I... All right, let me ask you a question. Because I drive every day. And I hate driving with people. Have you ever driven with somebody and you're on the passenger side? And you're hitting an imaginary brake pedal because they're not hitting brakes when you would hit brakes? So now, let's transition that into riding in a car that's driving itself. You're riding in a car that's driving itself. There ain't nobody you can joke with and be like, whoo, damn, you, you you don't like hitting the brakes? I'm sorry. I, I love my life too much to, to trust technology. Plus, where I work at, we spend hours, hours troubleshooting malfunction technology. Sensors that ain't sensing right. We spend hours doing that. So there is no fucking way that I'm trusting my life to a car that drive itself. And every all everything it's doing is based on sensors. Because guess what? Sensors do my function. <laughs> Y'all fucking crazy. Y'all people crazy. Y'all crazy. <laughs> I think I need What color was the broom? What color was the broom? I ain't, I ain't got none in like two days. I feel as though I'm overdue because this this well endowed woman um cleaning that dirty ass floor did it for me. I don't know what it was, but it did it did something for me. <laughs> 